Hey all, it's Rafi. Making another video today, playing a 15 minute game with five seconds of increment. And we have the exchange variation of the Kero Khan in this game so far against Fumogu. <clears throat> Rated 21.93. Quite a strong opponent. And as a result, I'm expecting a very good game. So here I'm debating between bishop g4 or e6. The reason I don't, I'm hesitant to play bishop g4 is what happens after a move like queen b3 that hits b7. But I think I will be okay in those lines. I think so. By playing a move like e6, I'm permanently locking in this bishop behind this pawn chain, and I don't know how I um, how I feel about that overall. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bishop out. All right, so he plays bishop to f4. Here I might play queen b6, but then he has queen b3. I can take, he takes, I can take the knight on f3, he takes. Um, I do give him two sets of double pawns, but I open up his rook file and I do give up a bishop. Um... How do I feel about that, doing that? <clears throat> I feel like his queenside pawn majority might be a bit annoying in this case if I allow, if I go into that line. I'm not sure. So with that in mind, I might just play e6 here. Um, so my dark square bishop is my good bishop here, I think. So I don't want to offer him an exchange of that bishop with bishop d6, I don't think, just yet. Or do I? I don't know. If bishop d6, bishop g5, then bishop e7. If he takes, I take with the queen. I think I'm going to hold off on the bishop exchange for now and just play bishop e7. And then he castles, so I think I should castle now. It's a good time to castle. <clears throat> so he plays queen to b3 finally, hitting the b7 pawn. Um, I had predicted this move for some time, so... I guess I can play knight to a5, kick the queen back. I could play queen d7, but then knight e5 seems like it could pose some problems for me. I could play b6 but that weakens my light squares. So considering all these things, I think I'm going to go with knight e5. I think he'll play queen c2 in this position now. Oh, he went for this line. Okay. So here I was going to plan a6 followed by b5, actually. But see, the thing is that knight e5 now is another is also in the in the cards for him. But let's keep making progress, though. Let's play a5 now. And if knight e5, I'll play bishop h5. And um, can I throw in b5 first? Kick his queen back. 
I don't know. Then the C6 square becomes really weak, and I don't want to go into that just yet. So let's patiently move this bishop back first, and then proceed with our operations on the queen side. <clears throat> okay, so now there's definitely going to be some bloodshed happening here. And I have a feeling he's going to pick up my dark square bishop, but my bishop is starting to be a little bit blocked in by the white pawns anyway. Um, I can't play b5 now because he'll just take my knight. So here I'm going to have to sacrifice a pawn, but hopefully I'll get the one on c3 though. Is knight c4 an option perhaps? Uh, don't think so. I don't think I have a choice but to play knight c6 now. He's going to end up taking on a6, but I'll get the one on c3. And um, yeah, I will definitely be down a pawn. There's no question about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and he will have two connected pass pawns. That's also true. So definitely can't say that this is ideal for me. But it is what it is. Can't do much about it. We'll have to play from this position and hope that all goes well. So I will now attack his queen and pick up on c3. Next move. <clears throat> so at the moment I'm hitting b4 with my bishop, but he can easily just push it. Oh, he can't push it, actually. Then I would take the bishop. So just kidding. Okay, so here he actually offers me the b4 pawn also, interestingly. And I am not going to hesitate on taking that one. Should I take on b4 or should I tra trade rooks first? Why activate his rook? Why not just take on b5, b4? And um, now get the d4 pawn. Oh. Is really giving me a lot of material here, interestingly. So that's something to keep in mind here, is that he actually did give me the d4 pawn as well. And um, this is now looking a little bit better for me, I think. He does have the passe pawn, though. And he has a lot of bishops and stuff pointing at the queening square. And he might just, like that, simply queen his pawn. So if I play queen to a6, hmm, his bishop, his pawn is really, really advancing fast here. And I don't like that too much. There's queen b6 offering a queen trade, but the two bishops seem to be really powerful. I don't know. Let's try to get rid of one of the bishops, maybe. Yeah, let's offer him a bishop trade first. Let's see what happens after this one. <coughs> I don't know if this was the best idea now because now he gets in with the tempo, pushes the pawn more, but, you know, um, knight is now joining also, so it's going to be tricky. That's for sure. So now my idea is to just try to blockade things off. So I'm going to offer a queen trade at this point, I think. And he pretty much has to take the trade, or else he's losing the f2 pawn. I guess he can block with the queen, but then he's looking losing the knight, though. So he pretty much has to do the trade. And he pushes more, I, as I expected. Um, where to put my bishop? I don't know if I have much of a choice here. I think I have to put it here. This pass pawn is getting very, very dangerous. That much I can say. 
Should I push my own pass pawn now to counter this one? Or should I try to get my other pieces to come and help? Rook a8, rook b7. Then I can just move my bishop and attack his pawn, I guess, maybe. But move my bishop where? Can I hit the knight at this point? And try to come at the bishop uh, pawn from this direction? That sounds like it. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, I almost lost my rook. That wouldn't have been good at all. Um... This is a tricky position. I think I'm going to try to push my own pass pawn here and try to threaten him a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this move, honestly. Oh, he's playing knight c6 now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun playing this position. That is for sure. Let's go for this move. Just putting the rook behind the passer, or in this case, actually in front of the passer, which is not the ideal square. Now, if he plays rook c7, I do have bishop b6. Really tricky move, forking the two pieces. But he can play a seven. Ah, he can't play a seven. I just take it. I can take the rook. Um, so here I expected this, but here is kind of what I had in mind. This move. If check, I play king h7. Uh, I think this should hopefully do it. So he has a seven. Oh. Oh, that too. Forgot about that move. So now this is getting real, real crazy. Let's get the knight involved, though. Let's get this knight into the game a little bit more. I felt like it was doing very little on that... Um, Shall we get the king involved as well? I mean, why not, right? Got an extra king that can help out, so let's use this king to our advantage. Ooh, I could have played knight c7, then played knight b5. Ooh, that's a good move I just missed. Knight c7 followed by knight b5. Knight c7, he pushes the knight b5, wins the pawn on a7. A lot of tactics involved, but I think I could have just won the pawn, though. Hmm. I'll play it next move if he if he lets me. So now I... Was it? Okay, so now knight c7 definitely hits the pawn. So it makes him push the pawn now. After which knight b5 threatens to win the pawn. Ooh, knight b5, he has rook b8. Ah, uh, with the king here, it wouldn't have worked because I would have had checkmate at the end. Back rank mate, dang it. Now with the king here, it's not working anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can play d3 and cut off the king. This is tricky stuff here. I think he has to push the pawn. There's no other alternative, I don't think. Ooh. That's a trick move right there. So if I take, he'll check and win the bishop at the end. So instead, I will play here and get out of that check idea. 
But knight c4 now comes. Mm. I think I play here now? I don't know. But then now... Rook c1 maybe or something? But rook c1, I can just take the pawn, and I think I'm holding all my pieces together. I think he's losing the a pawn, I, th I think. Ooh, that's trick. That's tricky stuff right there. Can I play in between move here first and then take the... Oh, no, I can't. What am I doing? Now I pretty much have to take. But then my pieces are all tangled up completely. I don't have a choice. I have to take it. Got to take it. Hopefully I can get my king king in the game now. King d7, king c6 will hopefully hold my position together. Hopefully. The thing is that he doesn't have a light square bishop to hit my knight right now, so that's kind of what I'm banking on. And I'm going to move my bishop away next move as well. <clears throat> so bishop e7 seems to be a nice idea here. Oh, then he has rook, knight uh, b6. Then rook a7. Hmm. No, no. Let's solidify our pawns first. Let's play. Ooh. Now check, bishop takes. Uh, doesn't work. There was a little tactic I saw, but it doesn't work. This bishop nicely prevents it from happening, working. I think I should play here now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Now knight b6. Hmm. Wait a second. What about this move now? Oh, knight b6. Dang it. Dang it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Dang, that's awful. Knight b6 now. Yep, that that's that's it. Ugh. That's bad. Maybe I can try to win the knight. I don't know. Oh, I can't even go to that square, huh? Oh. That's bad. I have to play this. And just hope somehow I can try to trap the knight maybe at the end. I don't know. Hmm. Down a whole minor piece now. <sighs> and a lost position. I do have, though, an extra pawn to play around with. A um, couple of extra pawns, actually. But is it enough? I don't think so. Oh, shoot. I should have gone to f7. Now he's going to pick up all my pawns. Every pawn will fall now. Hmm. Man, this is a tough position. This is This was tough. I... Definitely can say that that was a tough game. Tough loss. 
I went from completely winning to just crumpling under the pressure. Yep. Every pawn drops now. Right here, he takes the check. <clears throat> Trying really hard to trap the bishop still. But I don't think I can. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, why didn't I just take that pawn? Hmm. Oh wait, I have a passed pawn here. Oh, there goes all hopes of anything. Just in time to stop my pawn also. That is so unfortunate. Such an unfortunate loss. Loss. Lost, completely lost. Yeah, that's just game just awful. Gonna resign that. There's no point in playing this out. So let's just go over it real quick. Um, big mistake, obviously, was probably getting all tangled up after taking on a6. I don't know if taking on a6 was the actual mistake or not, but I mean, <clears throat> definitely did not help after that. <clears throat> So all of this, I think, is correct. So yeah, right idea to play the bishop g out, bishop g4 um, instead of e6. <clears throat> bishop um, d6, okay, interestingly. Should be seven is probably fine. Castle, castle. Knight a5. Okay, so there's uh, where I went off of theory. So knight a5. What should I have done instead? Queen c8 and queen b6 have been played in this position. But never this. Interesting. a6. Should back. Four. I had knight c4. Interesting. If knight c4, couldn't he just take it a couple of times? Oh, the bishop is hanging at the end of all those trades at the end. Oh. Couldn't he start this way, though? And just take here. Oh, there's a fork. Wow. 
Okay, that's a lot to calculate in a short game like this. That's a lot to calculate. Um, yeah, it's not a lot to calculate, but it's something I missed for sure. Uh, so I played this. And here he made some mistakes. He shouldn't have given up before. He should have just held on to that pawn. Plays this instead, which allows me to... Here is up quite a bit, I think. Just uh, But here, now I'm getting in a lot of play. Gives me that one also. Still had this advantage somehow in this position, being down two pawns, it seems like. Oh, no, he's only down one pawn. <clears throat> So he pushes this. I could have played e5. Dang it. That totally locks in that bishop. Hmm. Missed that. So I play this inferior bishop g6. Thinking that trading off one of the bishops will help me to stop that pawn. Traded off the queens. And that made my defensive task, I feel like, even harder now, somehow. I thought it would make it simpler, but wasn't the case. So I start pushing this guy, and then um, he does a nice job of getting his knight into the game. <clears throat> definitely shouldn't have lost this game, that's for sure. It should have definitely been a win or a draw for me. Um, so here I go for the idea of trying to get the pawn, but it doesn't really work, because he could have just pushed, and like I said... After knight b5, he has rook b, b1, and that hits both of my pieces. So, um, but here, I wonder if I could have this done the same idea. If I play here now, he pushes and I play here. What could he do? Oh, he can play this still. Ah, I can't take with the rook because the knight's hanging. Knight's protecting it, and then I can't do the back rank checkmate idea I had. Hmm. But this... This, yeah, that's not good. Check, you can block it now. Mm. Yeah, this is just not well, going to work. The idea of just grabbing the pawn like that was just a bad idea in general. So here he does that, and I just step the check ideas. Then knight c4, bishop here. Rook here, and now knight takes was the right idea. Okay. So here, f6 was right. Played e5 to solidify my pawns, and I'm up a lot right now. So this is where things are getting tricky. He started getting real active with this king. So I should have just moved the best. That's, that's right. That's what should have been the idea. His king cannot really do anything to my pawns. Not sure what I was afraid of. I should just move the bishop and play knight c7, and I would be fine. And this bishop gets starting at getting, ugh. Yeah, with the king on d7, now knight b6 is a fork. Ugh. I walked into that fork myself. And I played this, and I just lost on the spot. Totally missing knight b6. There's nothing I can do at this point. Nothing to salvage the game, really. So here, definitely, I should have played king f7. And after king here, I definitely lose because bishop picks up all my pawns. So here, I should have just taken that pawn. <laughs> Maybe tried to play for some sort of idea of sacrificing the knight for the remainder two pawns and trying to make him checkmate me with the bishop and knight was the most practical way to go f go about this um but played this stupid move instead and yeah just lost all my pawns and now that allows knight to be traded off which is another mistake and then my pawn is too short to queen so very very bad game overall Okay game, but very bad end game play for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in my next video.